I'm Polly Bath, and I travel throughout the country helping schools to manage and change difficult behavior that interrupts instruction. Today, I'm going to answer one of your questions. Is there an easy way to assess social-emotional skills that we could use as a school to determine if we are consistently addressing the needs of our students and to help us measure our progress? Yes, there is. I have a term I call acquisition. It's kind of my own term. It brings us from acquisition to generalization. So acquisition being, you've just been taught the skill. Fluency, you've been taught the skill, but you need a lot of help still. Maintenance, you've been taught the skill, you need less help and you can maintain the skill over time. And generalization is, you can use the skill whenever and wherever you're asked to. So that's my term, acquisition. But what do you use for criteria? Here's where your values come in. Here's where every school needs to have some very clearly defined values. How do you define respect? Not behaviors like respect is flushing the toilet and raising your hand. What is respect in our building? What is responsibility in our building? What is uh, community in our building? What is perseverance in our building? Whatever it is, the words that you use, everybody has values in their school building. We just have to define them better. Once you've defined them, you can actually create um, a rubric, if you will, kind of like an acquisition, fluency, maintenance, and generalization type of rubric based on how you define them. And quarterly, you can look at your whole classroom and you'll start to say, hey, I got this kid from acquisition and responsibility or respect to fluency. This kid's gone from fluency to maintenance. It's a little tool that you can design yourself that's going to be based on the way you operationally define those values. And if you don't have them as a whole school, then get them as a classroom. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch these videos, and if you've got questions for future videos, include those in the comments below.